Okay, so this is our um, electric conversion kit with the updates. And uh, after five years of development, uh, the R&D never stopped. We have um, improved the batteries, the motor, uh, moved to disc brake, and um, generally tidied up the kit to make it um, generally easier to install for the customer themselves. So it's been very successful around the world, uh, mainly in America, Australia, and abroad with uh, guys who want to, to do their own conversion. And they, they actually literally convert their scooters themselves at home in the garage. And that's how we intended it to always be. To simplify it, this is what they get basically. This is a kit for this particular kit is for a wide mount as you can see the swinging arm is is um, a wide mount swinging arm with the uh, engine bolt same dimensions as the old engine and the old suspension up here carries up the old suspension system here we now have our disc brake which has a master cylinder on the swinging arm obviously it just runs around here to your disc so this is now a four kilowatt motor uh, as opposed to our old three kilowatt which was a drum brake this is now a four kilowatt motor and the speed has increased from 55 miles an hour to 65 miles an hour um, so this arrives you bolt that into your uh, Vespa uh, or Lambretta and this is your control box your control box sits in underneath the old petrol tank area and you connect your hub motor engine to your control box by simply bolting on the hull sensors here and connecting the uh, sensor plugs which just bolt in, this is a spare one um, we've also got a few other plugs here which are basically your uh, battery gauge, your 12 volt lights and your throttle sensor so they all bolt into the other components or plug-in I should say uh, and then of course married to that is your battery leads and this is your battery which it connects to quite simply push in and connect this is a, a charging lead and that's it I mean bolt in plug and play as they say um, we've got a few battery trays for various models this is uh, a large frame one that goes on the side where the uh, the engine used to be and that's battery number one and you can of course have a second battery on the left side panel um, Vespa wise that is uh, the the batteries now are in three sizes so we have small medium and large a uh, small battery would do about 20 25 mile large battery or medium battery sorry would do about 30 35 mile and the large battery would do about 40 45 mile um, they're really made and particularly designed the small battery for small frames because it fits on the under the seat uh, on medium sized batteries they were really for lambretta because they fit neatly both two lambrettis two batteries on a lambretta either side of the uh, battery tray on Lombrettas and the large battery the big tall one is was was officially made for large frame Vespa which would go under the right hand side engine side panel um, with the option of having the two on the other side but you, you, you can mix and match batteries on that I mean you can have two small ones on a Lombretta uh, you can have one large one on a Lombretta uh, large frame vest but you can have two small ones two medium ones or two large ones it, it, it's however you want to play it whatever your range is whatever your range requirement is um, initially I make the kit the kit is three thousand pound two thousand nine hundred and ninety five pound you install that yourself after that you choose your battery size and play around with batteries as your range requires you can buy one battery if you find it's not enough add another one later except for small frame obviously which only carries one battery currently only carries one battery I am making a second battery holder where the spur wheel goes at your leg on the leg shield knees it's keyless now 
which helps contain all the high voltage in this control box. There's no uh, messing around with high voltage, it's all internal. And with keyless, the keyless fob is in, or the keyless uh, mechanisms inside, so you're just switching it on and off. The really nice thing that we've done with the new system is our 12 volt um, power from the control box just plugs into your old wiring loom. So basically, you don't have to change your wiring loom. You can plug into your old wiring loom. All you've got is a 12 volt feed and earth. So just two wires straight into your loom, um, which is a nice touch, which is an improvement from the last one, which had to have uh, a change of a, a loom. Um, other, uh, oh, and a safety switch. So a safety switch will be required in the near future for MOTs, I can foresee that and it's basically on the clutch lever. So the clutch lever has an um, on-off uh, safety switch, so if you pull the clutch in, it cuts the motor for whatever the reason, if, you're, um, uh, you know, if you have an accident, it falls over, or, or you just want to cut the engine for any reason, you just pull your clutch lever in like you did when you had a two-stroke motor, uh, when you had a seize on a two-stroke motor, it would just cut the motor and you can coast to the side, and then click it again, and it's live again. Um, so that's where we are with it um, and still improving it, still going on with new ideas all the time. Mostly just tidying it up but I'm very happy with where it is, you know, and uh, whatever comes along next will fit in these boxes. These are battery boxes inside the battery but this box and the three sizes we make will carry whatever comes next. Take to install one of these yourself. You oh, look, if you have a, if you have a frame that you prepare so if, you're, if you've already taken your engine out and your petrol tank out, jet wash the bike, give it a good clean, then when this kit arrives, you've got to, I mean, look, our guys do it in, in a morning, but let's say, you, you know, the novice would mess around and do it over the weekend. If you've done it all day Saturday and Sunday, you get it in, you get it in. The models we've covered, the main models being, uh, the, th the three main ones from Vespa would be the small frame, which is basically all small frames from the start of small frames in 63, right through to yeah, 82 was the last official classic small frame, but I've, I've made uh, it also for PK, and the PK125, PK50s up until, when did they run to, 89, 92? Um, it's not for Cozes or uh, any of the automatics. Everyone keeps asking me why I'm not doing it for like AT4s or LXs or GTSs. It's not cost efficient. I mean, it's not it's not cheap really. That's what people a lot of say, but it, you know you get what you pay for. But it's it's basically, you know, if you have an old AT4 and you go buying four grand, five grand's worth of equipment for it. You know, you can buy another <laughs> bike for that now, a new bike, you know. What I say is you can buy a brand new electric scooter like a Super Soco or a Nui for three and a half grand, same price. And that's a brand new bike with a three year warranty and everything's brand new and it's got all the apps and high tech stuff that... Oh, one more thing about our kit as well. I mean, we have the option in the app to reduce the speed and play around with it, make it a 50cc or, or just leave it as it is and go as fast as you want with it um, and slow it down or, or speed it up uh, but generally we just we leave it un, untapped, unrestricted as such um, but yeah we, we don't do the, the new autos, we could do and we might have a tinker with one but um, it's not cost effective I mean we people who just go out and buy a brand new electric scooter. I mean, mostly to save the classics, maintain the classics. We've done small frame, large frame, and wide mount Vespas, all the 50s Vespas. And we've covered all the Lambretta range in that. The LI series 1, 2, 3, SX and GP, and all the uh, models that came after 1958, large frame, Vesp large frame Lambretta models, and J-range, we've done J-range as well. Um, people ask about Louis. I have not done a Louis because the whole idea is to hide this equipment under the bonnet off or behind the panel work off classic so you don't see it and with a Louis obviously you, you see everything on board so I'm not really 
working on that. LD has been designed, is being made, but uh, we need the winter to finesse, finesse it, you know, and it's been a very difficult one to do, but we have it. Uh, we just have to be very patient with getting that done. It was quite an intricate design to get that swinging arm in an LD, but it's coming. Um, and chows. I have a chow. I bought a chow. I bought one to have a tinker with it. I'm going to do a front wheel conversion, so it's going to be a hybrid. I haven't done this yet, so it's still a pie in the sky, but working on it. Got a chow to do that too. Chows are very popular, especially in Europe. And um, yeah, hybrid. Um, the other stuff, like the weird stuff, like Zondat Bellas, NSUs, Capris, Ducatis, what else have we done? Uh, all those weird and wonderful 50s and 60s scooters that nobody rides anymore. I've done a few of those for a laugh, but um, it's sort of one-offs. I've done a Velocifet as well, actually. Yeah. But yeah, um, mainstream are the main ones, Vespas. Best seller is large frame Vespa. Not a close second is, is, Lam, is Lambretta. So large frame Vespa, that's all the P-axes and sprints and all. Then Lambretta and then small frame um, as they go. But probably 60%, 70% large frame Vespa. Not surprising. That. Yeah, 20% Lambretta and then 10% small frame Vespa. Wide lines are coming good actually. I have no percentages left to put wide mount in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, lots of Americans are buying the kit more than the British. Uh, Europe we're trying to break into, but the laws over there are still restrictive, working on that. Um, Australians, Japan, Vietnam, Indonesia, um, lots of people in South America, but can't get the um, stuff sent out there they won't the ups won't send it out there mexico and stuff you know um canada they're good uh so a couple of sweden places like that been okay uh but mainstream europe still got those restrictive laws um but trying to break that and have a few people on that already helping us with the uh the regulations over there to get into it that's it really